let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25. We are all capable of being spiritually laid saint. We want to stay off the love road of life. And our primary objective is to secure a peaceful retreat from the world. The ideas put forth in these verses from Hebrews 10 are those of stirring up one another and of keeping ourselves together. Both of these require initiative, our willingness to take the first step toward Christ realization, not the initiative toward self-realization. To live a distant, withdrawn, and secluded life is diametrically opposed to spiritually as Jesus Christ taught it. The true test of our spirituality occurs when we come up against injustice, degradation, ingratitude, and turmoil, all of which have the tendency to make us spiritually lazy. While being tested, we want to use prayer and Bible reading for the purpose of finding a quiet retreat. We use God only for the sake of getting peace and joy. We seek only our enjoyment of Jesus Christ, not a true realization of Him. This is the first step in the wrong direction. All these things we are seeking are simply effects, and yet we try to make them causes. Yet, I think it is right, Peter said, to stir you up by reminding you. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 13 It is a most disturbing thing to be hit squarely in the stomach by someone being used of God to stir us up. Someone who is full of spiritual activity. Simply active work and spiritual activity are not the same thing. Active work can actually be the counterfeit of spiritual activity. The real danger in spiritual laziness is that we do not want to be stirred up. All we want to hear about is a spiritual retirement from the world. Yet, Jesus Christ never encourages the idea of retirement. He says, Go and tell my brethren. Chapter 28, verse 10 in Matthew.